Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome back to another car making tutorial. Today I have a really fun project to share with you because I was experimenting with different types of inks and I was trying to come up with really unique color combinations. The inspiration for this card actually comes from my Zara dress. I have many pieces of clothing that have flowers or floral patterns on them and I had this idea for a while where I wanted to use them as inspirations for my cards. So this time I chose this one. They have some really bright red and pinks and they matched it with like some purple florals and also some gray leaves and some olive color leaves. And I thought that was just like really unique and usually I wouldn't use these colors myself which is why I'm really glad to use this as an inspiration to kind of get out of my comfort zone. I'll be using these stamps from Elton U from the set called Beautiful Day. Um, it has some really beautiful peonies that are similar to the ones on my dress. This one is a layering stamp set so they have three layers and for the base layer I'm going to start with the lightest color which is um, Delicata Champagne here. For the second layer, I'm going to use a light pink color. This one is called Pixie Dust and it's actually from a different ink line. Um, it's from the Versa Magic line and not the Delicata line. Um, this one is non-shimmery and they usually have a chalky finish, but they're both pigment inks so I think they will layer quite nicely together. And finally, for the third layer, I'm switching back to the Shimmery Delicata ink pads again. This one is rose gold. It's a very, very lovely color. And this is our final stamped image. Next, we can move on to the red flowers. Red is a little bit tricky because there's not really like a light red or dark red. Like a light red to me just feels like a pink, which is why I am starting with a pink color. So this one is also a Delicata ink pad. This one is Pink Shimmer. It actually has quite a coolish tone to it and it's very different from the rose gold that we used before even though those are all pink colors. And for the second layer, I'm using one of my favorite colors of all time, which is Glamorous from Versafine Claire. This one is where the experimenting begins because this is a oil-based pigment ink. So far, the other inks that we have used, the Delicata inks and the Versa Magic inks, are both water-based, and this Versafine Clear one is oil-based. So I was just interested to see how the inks would react and see just generally what the effect will be if I layer them on top of each other. I think for this particular color combination, the colors are actually quite true to what you would see if you stamp them separately just on their own but later on when we stamp a second red flower that has a slightly different base you will see that they will start to have like some different looks to it for the final top layer i'm going to use the ruby red delicata ink again to kind of add some final touches to the very concentrated red highlighted portions then I stamped a different version for the red flower because on the dress it has like a slightly different hue between the two different red flowers. So this one, the base, I changed it to rose gold instead of the um, coolish pink shimmer pink that we used before. So this one has a more warmish tone and because I stamped the rose gold kind of I believe like two or three times to get really good coverage. You can see that the color is quite dark here. And so when I was layering on the second um, Versafine Clear ink, you can see that the red is actually quite different between those two, even though they're the same inks. So this one, you can see that the red kind of has a more muted um, tone to it. It's kind of like a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit... Um, I guess covered from the base layer which is the rose gold shimmer and I think that's inherently because they have different formulations in the ink one is oil based and one is water based 
And those are just things that you experiment when you are stamping with different inks on layering stamps. I actually used a scrap piece of paper and I experimented with so many different color combinations. I pulled like all the reddish pinkish tones from my stash and I was just trying to see like which combinations work. And I think that's kind of just a part of the fun when you're creating. Then I stamped the leaves in gray and in green. There's nothing too special about stamping them besides that you just have to layer the stamps. The colors that I use are also listed in the description box below. And we are finished with the stamp layering process. Remember how I said in the beginning of the video that they also paired um, pink and red flowers with purple flowers? So this second part is basically creating those purple flowers. Interestingly enough, they also include a very similar image in the Sam set where I can use to paint my purple flowers. So here I am basically stamping them with the black VersaFine Claire ink. That one is called Nocturne. And I picked some shades of purple and reds to kind of just color them in um, very simply with like a water brush. After that, I die cut all of the pieces that we have created so far, and this is what it looks like. For the sentiment, I did use a different ink. This one is Days on Pigment in Snowflake. Uh, this is probably my favorite ink to stamp white sentiments because they're very fast drying, and they stamp really crisp as well. I don't always decorate the insides of my cards, but for this one, I was just very proud of it and I really enjoyed the creating process. So I thought, why not? Let's do something special for the inside as well. So first off, I splattered on some black droplets of inks. I just used Silicata Black Shimmer and I mixed it with some water on an acrylic block and just splattered on with a brush. Then I stamped the outline images in rose gold Delicata ink to kind of pull everything together and now the front of the card and the inside of the card are kind of matching together. And that is the card for today. I hope this tutorial inspired you to kind of try layering stamps with some of the inks you already have even though they might not come from the same ink line and perhaps it will also inspire you to kind of take inspiration from daily objects like maybe a cup or um, some stationery or even your clothing. I think that's a really fun idea and I was really glad to try it today finally. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll catch you in my next video. Until then, bye!